it's me Sailor Moon and it's me Sailor Venus here and today um well yeah what are we going to talk about all right so I know we talked about this a lot you know all right but it's like this why we do not do why we don't shift our films out or anything like that now I don't know I think we talked about that too but hey we just let it go talk about it all right so a lot of folks on YouTube and maybe even those who are not on it they like to clean their films shift their films whatever you want to call it and every one of them out there thinks that's something that you have to do or you need to do. And something that back in the day our haters would bitch that we didn't do. Oh, why you don't put any outstanding drawings or make it brighter or darker? Why you don't cut this this out or put this in or, or stuff like that? Oh, I do it. Well, first off. The film shifting tools out there, I don't care what their names are, there are many of them out there, are not as smooth to work as you think. A lot of them don't have no guide, no handbooks. Two, a lot of them you don't really know what to do. And three, the way that they work isn't anything outstanding, no need what anyone says. You know? And it's, it takes a lot of time. See, I don't have all the... It's not like I have one film to make and that's it. I have to... You know, it's not like we gotta make another film after this. So we don't have all the time to fuck around with the film shifting tools there are. You know? And back in the day when we did do it, it took a long time. And back in the day when we did work with, with say, Microsoft Windows Filmmaker or Cyberlink Strength Overseer, you know, or with also say, Arcsoft Tools, they weren't really anything outstanding, you know. So. Yeah, that's why we don't do anything with them, because they don't really do nothing, you know? Well, you're right about that. You know, we don't really, they truly don't do anything, and they're not really that outstanding, and a lot of them are too hard to work. We'll be lucky if we get one of the many tools to work, but at the end of the day, we don't have to do it, and we choose not to. And I know there's going to be some folks out there, yeah, Sailor Moon. There are going to be some folks out there believing that why we don't get all, why our films don't get all the watch time that out there is that, oh, you don't do this, you don't do that. You're always going to hear about folks talking about how you have to shift this out and put that in. Well, if that's what they do, that's their own business good for them if they scaled the toll then that's all great but we're never going to be like them and never going to scale the toll any of those film shifting tools out there because there are a lot of them you know at the end of the day we like making our films this way you know there is no right or wrong way to make a film haters out there will believe there is but the end of the day there's not and for any of these folks out there who have skilled the tools well good for them you know they're the ones that have to fuck around and do all this shit to their films yeah and at the end of the day it's not going to make folks want to watch your film at the end of the day that's still choose that's still there that's still their choosing if they're going to watch the film or not and if you got one film and nowhere to be for some time, then yeah, you do all that shit. But we got things to do 
and we don't go and this isn't like we make one film and that's it right after this someone else has to make their film so it's not like that we you know have all that time and they're not smooth to work with you know yep you're right about that sale of Venus the film shifting tools out there are not really that smooth to work with and at the end of the day there's just really nothing outstanding about them they're too hard to work they am up besmirching the film more you know when you want to cut something out you know you're asking for way too much with the Microsoft one it really couldn't it couldn't really do that I only got to do it once back in the day and every other time it wouldn't do it and then when I did do it another time it did besmirch my film because I cut something out and I couldn't bring it back together yeah so it besmirched my film and the Arcsoft one well they didn't do shit it wouldn't it wouldn't work at all and the Cyberlink one well it was broken all could do is film so you tell me so yeah yeah so that's why I just gave up on film shifting tools and don't get me started with the YouTube one the YouTube film shifting tool is as broken and hard to work as all the other ones out there that one can get for free or one can buy you know so yeah we don't do it because they're too hard to work takes too much time and sometimes they're not as and they don't work all very well you know and if that may and if only and if that makes our films unwatchable for some folks oh well it is what it is you know well you're right Sailor Moon at the end of the day if one chooses to shift their film out or clean it or whatever you want to do that's your own business good for you but at the end of the day we don't do that stuff it's always it's never our thing all right takes too much time too hard to work and a lot of times besmirches the film all right and if someone out here wants to say that I'm wrong about any of those tools and they got any of the tools to work either be art be Microsoft Arcsoft or Cyberlink good for you or got the YouTube one to work well then good for you but at the end of the day none of them have worked very well for us you know so it is what it is and it, uh, <clears throat> it is what it is you know so that's the end of it that's why we don't shift out our films or anything takes too much time they're too hard to work and all we do is besmirch our film more than it already is and it's not like the outstanding lighting or drawings and, and cutting things out is as cool as some folks out there make it be you know and there is no law or oversight that says that one has to do that thing with their films it would be dumb if there was and we wouldn't be here talking today if there was because we'd be in lockup but there is no law or oversight that says that so at the end of the day we don't do it all right you're right about that one looks like it comes to the end of our film hope you like this film and if you do there was the film we made yesterday over here or fall is here at Sailor Moon for life I'm Sailor Moon I'm Sailor Venus hope you like this film